Hey gamers, today I'm going to show you how to fully optimize your Windows for the ultimate gaming experience in 2025. From the best NVIDIA control panel settings to insane FPS boost tweaks and the ultimate performance settings. Get ready to level up your gameplay. Let's dive in. Now, open the NVIDIA control panel. You have to trust me on this. Through multiple experiments, I've realized that nothing here should be changed unnecessarily. Many content creators modify numerous settings just to extend their videos, but in reality, only a few key settings truly matter. Select your GPU under OpenGL Rendering GPU. Select Prefer Maximum Performance under Power Management Mode to maximize your GPU's performance. Set the preferred refresh rate to highest available. That's all you need to change here. Now moving on to the next tab. Here, select the highest refresh rate available for your monitor. Many users unknowingly use high quality monitors at 60 Hz. Here, you can adjust the colors of your monitor in the best and most accurate way. Follow these steps. Adjust this according to your monitor and your preference, then click Apply. It's important to note that if you're editing using true colors, like in Photoshop, this may affect it. In such cases, simply restore the default settings and click Cancel once you're done with your editing process. Adjust these settings as shown. These are the final settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Now, open the NVIDIA app. Under the Drivers tab, confirm that you have selected Game Ready Drivers. Also, always keep your drivers up to date. Now, if there are any Windows updates, make sure to update them to the latest version. This will be essential for the next steps. After that, restart your PC. Here are unnecessary apps and ads running in the background on your PC that you haven't installed. These can increase your processor usage. Let's remove them all now. I highly recommend everyone to do this. You'll get a 100% great result, trust me. Especially in Call of Duty Warzone and Black Ops 6, you'll see a huge difference. This will help increase your FPS. Open Windows PowerShell, the normal version, not x86. Now you can copy this code from the description. Make sure to carefully check the beginning and end before copying. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Copy and paste, then hit enter. You can fully optimize your computer without installing any extra software. Now click on Tweaks. Now click on Standard at the top of this menu. You don't need to worry about anything because an automatic restore point is created during this process. If any issue arises, you can recover your previous restore point. You can see here that thousands of unnecessary settings for gaming are disabled. Many pro gamers use this, but no one talks about it. Before running tweaks, scroll down and click on Run O and O Shut Up. Here, many unnecessary privacy data collection settings will be disabled. You can read through them if you want, but I recommend not worrying too much about it. Because once you apply this, you'll keep using it for a lifetime, guys. Next, click on Actions at the top. Then click on Apply Only Recommended Settings. It will ask if you want to create a restore point again. Click on Yes. Now all settings have been applied. Close this window. Next, click on Run Tweaks. This process is very important. It will help unlock the performance cap on your PC. Remember to save this video to your YouTube playlist. By saving it, after formatting your computer, you can reapply these settings to your PC. It will be helpful. This process will take some time. Do not cancel it until Tweaks Are Finished appears. Once it is complete, close this window. Now restart your computer. Now type Game Mode Settings in the Start menu. I won't take time to explain these. These are all essential settings that must be configured to boost your FPS. Therefore, go through these settings and apply them to your computer. Turn on Game Mode. If your game is not listed here, click on Add Desktop App and locate the executable file of your game. Click on Options here and select High Performance. Now select Change Default Graphics Settings. Turn both of these on. 
In some cases, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling may not work for everyone. Therefore, test by turning it on and off. For many high-end PCs, it should be turned on. Copy all of these settings. These settings involve background data usage, and issues like in-game lag, stuttering, and high ping often arise due to unstable connections caused by excessive data usage. After watching this video, you won't need to worry about these issues anymore. I've included all unnecessary processes here, so you can review and copy them accordingly. While you're adjusting these settings, let me share something with you. It takes a lot of effort on my part to bring you these solutions in the best way possible. So if you found this helpful, please make sure to like the video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be bringing many more videos like this in the future, so be sure to stay subscribed to the channel. Your support truly means a lot to me. Now open the start menu, type system configuration and select it. Then go to the boot tab and select advanced options. Check the box for number of processors and select the highest available to you. Click OK. Now go to the services tab and check hide all Microsoft services. Now uncheck all unwanted background running applications. Make sure not to uncheck anything related to Nvidia or Steam. Now hit the apply button. Now, if you're a keyboard and mouse player, make sure to adjust these settings. Type keyboard in the start menu. Copy these settings for zero input delay. Now, open the start menu and type mouse settings. Then, go to additional mouse settings. Click on the pointer options tab and uncheck enhance pointer precision. Hit apply, then OK. Now you can feel the real smoothness of your gaming mouse. If you're a controller player, definitely watch this video to reduce your controller input delay to zero. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll make sure to reply. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.